<laughs> hold Hi. on, hold on, hold on. I'm hitting live. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Saturday night. If you're watching this part, probably on the replay, please put hashtag replay in the comments below. It's Jill. Hi. Jill is here. I'm here. I, I feel like I'm like sleeping on my desk right now. It's just been kind of a lazy day. <laughs> Very lazy. I was up early to make sure I could get to work on time. Yeah. Okay. But yes, no people are well. Two people, two old people are here now, so I think it's working. Um, FB has been a weird little, weird little baby lately. I haven't been able to comment and things and freezing all the time and so if y'all if we start freezing the deal is to go out and come back in because it is it's been a, a might bit frustrating shaz is here karen hi patricia hi ruth i forgot to send out a telegram <laughs> i was just gonna say i did the i, I totally forgot to send when i was thinking it Hold earlier on. i'm gonna do it right now <laughs> get the telegram and i totally forgot the y'all hang on okay Y'all, we're live right now. I told you it was a lazy day. I don't have lazy days. My brain isn't. My brain didn't function them. Oh, I think we got about. I think we got like maybe two to four inches so far, but it is really that heavy, heavy. You only got two to four. We have six to eight for yeah, sure. No, like I, I would say it's like two to four. <clears throat> maybe, like, maybe we need to ask Matt who actually moved the snow. Why? Because maybe to him, it, maybe it was six to eight. I don't know. Didn't look like all that oh, much. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Didn't look like all that much to me. But then again, I went, you know, garage house. All right. People I just got the telegram. People. Sorry. I was I was a little behind. Oh, I just got a telegram. <laughs> <laughs> who is it from? <laughs> who who is just, that? Dina's here. You guys, we are doing a really fun kit today from Dina. Hi, Diane. Um, and yeah, um, I did. Well, I shouldn't say that I laid around all day. I didn't lay around all day. I made out. I, I made all of these handmade journals that are soon going to be for sale on my website. Nice. So I that lazy, but then I was lazy and I watched a movie. So now my brain is like, it turned off. <laughs> Those are nice. It turned all the way off. Phyllis says it, it's snowing um, in New Hampshire. Deanna, oh. hello. Did I see Roy? I see Roy. Oh. So we're doing the cutest down bit. By the airport. That's a lot. You, Vas? What'd you say? <laughs> My mom said uh, the city technically got 8.9. That's at the airport on the south side. But that's still a lot. <sighs> you guys, if you don't know what we're talking about, we got like 10 inches of snow overnight. <laughs> And it's heavy, wet snow. And like, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty, but like, it's gorgeous. punch me in this, the face. <laughs> I'm done. This is, this is the typical thing. I said two to four. And then at first you said six to eight. And then just now you were like, we got 10 inches. Well, yeah, like, I don't know. Well, I watched <laughs> the news and New Berlin got 11. So I'm not lying. Oh my God. That's <laughs> awesome. By the time we leave here, it'll be two feet. Allie's here. Ugh, I don't want two feet of snow. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Grand. Yeah, I mean, you know, and then Lindy's like, oh, it's like 70 here today. I'm like, oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, check out these kits. They're so cute. You guys are going to have to get them. And let me tell you, Dina ships like I placed my order and it was already in the mail that day. She ships so fast. So you will have these before Easter. And these are so cute. You can do them with kids. You can do them with your friends or your grandma or whatever. I don't have it glued on, but they're so cute. This is the bunny. I'll hold it. I'm holding his eyes and nose. So this is how oh, I lost his foot. And then the look at the chicky. So the bunny and the chicky and the eggs are separate, right? And so you get all of these. I don't remember how much the kit is. I should have done my homework, Dina. I'm sorry. But look at the chicky. He has a really cute nose. And he's got like the look at his little hair on top. I love him so much. And they're shelf sitters. But Dina, 
I don't, what is this extra little guy for right here? Is that supposed to go on the bottom of him? Ah, I just lost his eye. You know, if you're a fan of if you're a fan of Van Gogh, you can put it together in any way you want. <laughs> <laughs> true, that's super true. It's maybe the eyes, maybe the eyes and the beak go on the side. <laughs> Callie said it's 85 degrees by her. 70 in West Virginia. Ugh. I don't know if Dina's still here, but um, and I know that. Oh, there she is. It's part of the stand. Do, so do I put it underneath? Maybe maybe that's what you do. Part of the stand. Yeah. Dina, I can't do math and I don't know how to build things. <laughs> I need specific instructions. Does it like go maybe like in between and then stand? See now Jill's a builder, Dina. Jill builds stuff. No, because no, they're little the little tabs on the bottom fit into the the tab Maybe that part. just goes in as a spacer. Glue those two together, she said. Okay, got it. That makes sense. Cool. All right, let me no. put on my overhead camera. Glue these two together, then stand it in there. Oh, we put this under here. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes. So like that. Okay, and then that. I'm just being smart. I have to cover up my computer. Can you guys all see? Look at like the... This is all, these are all dried art products, like sprays and paste. And this is a MacBook Pro. I need to really pay more attention and pay. pay if pay anybody could it. see the front of this tablet. Yeah, I occasionally have to come along and like, um, get the gel and the paint off. <laughs> oh, you're in New Orleans, Callie. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I've okay. never been to New Orleans. We were talking about that last night, actually. Okay. And then the little feet for both of them. So they're so cute. So um, I have paint pixie products. And then I have a paper that I made that I kind of want to put on the egg. I am going right in and I am starting with honeycomb. So, no, I'm not. I'm going to do I'm the paper. On my, I'm going to do paper on the front as well. I suppose I should, I'm going to decoupage that first so that it is a, more, a chance to dry. That's what I was thinking too. So that's, okay. that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so that's it. So you guys, these are so cute. Dina, so it's designsbydina.org. And, and not only do they have the chicky and bunny kits, they have all kinds of fun stuff. So when you go there to get your chicky and bunny kit. Just check it out. They have so many more, so many more fun things. And let me tell you, that shipping, <laughs> I was impressed. And I, I like, I ordered it and I had it two days later. Fast. I think that'll be good. It was. She puts me to shame. He's fast. I try to be fast. He's I got fast. Yesterday's, yesterday's orders out in one day. He's fast. I was proud of myself there. Now I just have to finish cleaning my right studio here because my studio is still a mess. Um, this is going to be super cute. I went for pastel -y colors because that's what Easter, that's, you know, Easter reminds me of pastel. pastel -y. That's what, what I was, I pulled my, I pulled honey, honeycomb, <laughs> French <laughs> macaron, and dreamsicle, and my papers are like blue and uh, celadon and magenta. Oh, that was a really fancy word for you, Jill. I know. <laughs> Once I learned it, I have to use it. <laughs> Jennifer says, everything I own has paint on it. So Jennifer, Jill's coming with me. Um, Jennifer is the owner of the retreat space. Um, I am holding a retreat for my art journaling club people. It's actually sold out. Um, so not everybody got a spot, but, um, and Jennifer owns it and it's called the Miller house. And it is a spectacular little place on a river in Burlington, Wisconsin. So if anybody wants to check it out, it's called the Miller house. You can find it on Facebook, but it is so 
beautiful. She, it was so great. She contacted me like out of nowhere. I manifested her though. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. manifested her because I wanted to do a retreat. Um, and so I'm teaching yoga there. I'm going to make all the food. Jill's going to come. She's Jill's going to be a helper, but she's going to participate in everything. And then Jennifer, who is a spectacular artist um, in her own right, is she's going to teach one of the classes and she's going to do a um, pastels class. I'm so excited. We're going to build, we're gonna make a book over the whole weekend. What's up? I'm the helper. So when you start falling over in yoga, I'll just come over and just hold you up. <laughs> You're going to be doing yoga, Jill. There's no opting out. <laughs> but I'm the helper. No, yeah. That's right, you are. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. It's going to be the second weekend in October. And if you've ever been to Wisconsin in October, it is super beautiful. The most beautiful. And the property, when you drive up, there's like a really long, windy driveway. And it's all like birch trees and... The river, I mean, the, the house that we're renting, it looks right out to the river. We're going to try to do a bonfire one of the nights. Um, we're going to just pray for really good weather. And uh, I'm so excited about it. And I love October anyways. It's my favorite month of the whole year. Has nothing to do with my birthday being in October or anything. But right. <laughs> that sounds really fun. Oh, there it is, the Miller House Honey Creek Retreats. It's so cool. You guys have to go check it out. Even she has this really cool, like, train car because the, there used to be a train station there. And she has an old train car that she is going to renovate and have it turn it into, like, um, a, like a bunk bed. Like, you know, like if you go there with your family and you have kids, the kids can kind of go in there or whatever. Just so cool super fun yeah it's gonna be exciting oh this paper looks so cool on here i knew it would right now it looks like a like a pasta bowl <laughs> it's a beautiful pasta bowl I love gingham. You love gingham? I just love gingham. It's like my second favorite next to Argyle. <laughs> you're such a child of the 80s. Well, you're, you're, you went to high school in the 80s. <laughs> Let me say that. Argyle. 80s was Argyle City. Ooh. I had all the argyle. I had the argyle. Socks for and my tape underneath my mat, but now I can't get the colors I want. You what, huh? Oh, I'm trying to protect my paper underneath this mat, but then I can't pull up the colors that I want. Look at this egg. It looks like I dyed it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. This is going to be adorable. Last night, we went live in our private group for our Mixed Media Mystery Box, and we yeah. opened Lisa's box. The box that kept giving. <laughs> Phyllis and said, giving. thanks, Dina. And giving. Phyllis said, do I have to sleep in the train car? I don't, I don't think you do, Phyllis. <laughs> Peggy says, Argyle and Gingham are her two favorites, too. Yeah. I'll make a birthday cake. Aw. Hi, Debbie. So it was really fun going live, live last night. Um, Lisa, Lindy, Jill, and I all went live together in one live. <laughs> it was chaos, but it was so fun. <laughs> and we opened Lisa's mystery box because Lisa curated the March box. Jill's curating the oh. April box. It is sold out already, but you can get on the wait list um, for May. And once you're in, you're in. It's a subscription box. So you can, you know... You can stop anytime, but once you're in, you're in. You don't have to sign up more than once. 
And it's just filled with mystery items for mixed media art. And we opened Lisa's. It was a ton of fun. Lisa was so nervous. Many so, so, so many goodies. Lisa was nervous. And I'm like, why are you nervous? She like, because a lot of people don't wait. They don't wait for us to have our live reveal, right? Because they get it in the mail and they're like, I want to open it right now. Yeah. And I'm like, all these people were like, Lisa, this box is so amazing. And oh my gosh, I love everything you put it in. And she's like, I'm so nervous. I'm like, what? I'm like, everybody already loves your box. Like, everybody was going to be nervous over it. <laughs> I'm like, they ah. all are going ape over your box. I'm like, and justly so, too. I mean, it was fun. Yeah, it was so oh, many gorgeous items. It was fun. So, if you don't know what the mix, mixed media mystery box is, um, Lindy from Tater Buggin, Jill, myself, and Lisa from Craft Therapy by Lisa Mod each take a turn. We go once every four months and we each curate the box for you. So, it has handmade items, it has vintage, it has found um and everything in between art supplies you know whatever we can find and i did the february box um so that was fun mine was the first box actually we just started doing yeah. this and it sells out we only have 10 available extra every month because well we have to make everything so we don't want to exactly. kill ourselves you know so we offer 10 and that's already like woo, that's already a lot so um We'll have 10 more available April 16th. So the, the link to the wait list is in the pin comment. Hop on there and I will, I personally send you the email. Some people actually bought the box for March and I accidentally, or bought the box already for April and I accidentally sent them the email. And they're like, oh my gosh, I got an email. Am I not in? I'm like, oh no, that's not. Yeah, user error. <laughs> I'm so and if sorry. anybody joins the wait list, you know, when you get the email, if your market is spam, it's not spam because you asked for it. <laughs> so you might want to check. I'm telling you, somebody, I don't, nobody puts you on that wait list, right? And I sent out the email and somebody marked it as spam. I'm like, you asked me to send this to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, I suppose your, your provider might move it there automatically, but you might no. want to check the spam folders. Your your email surface doesn't mark it as spam. Well, sometimes they do, but my yeah, I find all sorts of things. In they my send it to your spam mailbox, but they don't mark it as spam. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I have to move it back to the inbox if I yeah. want. It. But yeah, like on my Gmail, I have a thing where I can click a box that says it's spam. Uh, and so, don't give it out. Yeah, don't you rip. I made this paper from my gel plate, but it's just on a piece of computer paper. So it's very, very thin. This is looking over here too. You stop it. How the other ones work? There we go. Oh my gosh. I love these. Uh, Lindy's here. Hi, Lindy. Lindy's here. Lindy, were your ears ringing? We were just talking about you. No, we were just talking about us, I should say. Us, the boxes from yesterday. Yeah, you in general. But, that we went live last night and had a good old time. All right. Lindy, I, I think I stayed up until 1 a.m. Okay, maybe 1.30 last night. What? And you said you got up early. How do you do that? I did. I was up at 7.30. No, thank you. I am too much of a fragile flower for that. <laughs> Lindy was probably sleeping by 8 o'clock. <laughs> she might have been. I don't know. Where are you, Lindy? <laughs> we had a great time last night. I'm honestly Thanks, a little jealous that I didn't. Lindy I said know. I was asleep by 10. My son came over and we played games, and his girlfriend, and we played games. So we were probably up till almost midnight. That was late for us. All right, I'm trying to think if I want to do, I have the white sand out because this paper that I made has, do you see how metallic that is? So I thought I would add the white sand to something. I think I want to just do a coat of, I'm going to do a coat of saltwater taffy first and then see what happens. 
we're going to we're going to see what happens from there. So y'all, we uh, we're we're wondering if we should keep going live on Saturdays cuz you know, we've been doing it for over 3 years. Every Saturday, um, you know, we used to get uh, a lot more people. Now we know the Facebook algorithm is let's just say whack to be nice <laughs> and um but we we are not getting the audience that we used to get on saturdays and we're just wondering if like you know if it's if it's worth it if we should still keep doing this obviously we have so much fun right but um you know it's a saturday and we used to go at 9 a.m and we were really noticing that people were dropping off of that because they went grocery shopping and did all the things, you know. Yeah. So we're like, well, let's do night. But uh, it's kind of been the same. And I do blame a lot of it on the old FB um, algorithm, right? Um, but we're just wondering, what do you all think? I don't even know why I'm painting the bottom of the bird. but Oh, I just did that too. Or the, or the bottom of the chick. Wait, wait. Don't minute. need to paint the bottom of the bird, but because I have OCD, I have to paint the bottom of the bird. <laughs> I have some chunks in here. I think I squirted it too fast. It's the appropriate call. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I just want them all to be my friends. Yeah. <laughs> I want all of them to be my friends. Oh my gosh, did you see Lindy's, um, what is it called, Lindy? Long steer, long, longhorn steer, is that what it's called? I, um. Is that what that kind of cow is called? called with the no, uh, they're, um, oh my gosh. I know, I can't think of it. Anyways, Lindy painted one the other day and it was so cute. And I'm like, and I'm, she can't. What? You're talking about these guys? Yeah. Um, what did she get? She painted it. Highland Cow. She painted it? Oh, yeah. Lindsay and it's Perlin. so cute. I'm, and I totally did the classic. I will name him George. He will be my friend. <laughs> or he oh will be my friend God. and I will name him George. I want to see that. It's, oh, you'll love it. It's I so want to cute. see it. His tongue is sticking out and he's got crazy oh. hair. <laughs> oh, my God. So you cute. did it, so where is yours? Is he hanging behind you? No, I didn't do it. You didn't do one? Oh. Wendy did it. She did it live. I thought maybe you might have done one as well. Um, no. <laughs> I don't paint Highland Cows. You could. Probably, but that's not what I do. For fun, I just like to paint stuff. Like stuff that I wouldn't normally paint. The Kylan cow. I did not hear a word you just said. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> my honeysuckle is a little on the bright side, so I'm actually adding my lemon crinkle over the top of it too. Okay, I don't want to go crazy with color, but I think I'm going to do a little tiny bit of candied papaya. I probably should put more than that. And then... Because I really want the egg to like really stand out, right? But I think that he needs, he or she, it's probably, I don't know, I think it's a girl. Um, <laughs> she. She needs a little bit of color. You like what? Oh, hi, Julie. Thanks. I, you love watching. Love watching. Cindy's here. Yeah. Cindy. So, Linda, you're going to have to get these bunnies. They are from designsbydina.org. It's a bunny and a chick. It comes in one kit, and they ship so fast, you'll definitely have it before Easter. Um, and it's, oh, my gosh, it's so adorable. I'm having so much fun already, and I'm, like, all I've done is so got the paper on, really. So thinking adorable. All right, I've got the assistant from the Magic Pack. Y'all, if you need a brush set, that's amazing. The Magic Pack is so yeah. great. It's got five different brushes and it comes with a little case and um, 
I use them all the time. All right, so that was pink lemonade or pink lemonade. I'm losing my mind. Violet lemonade. There. I really took I'm over. I barely put any. That these paints are so highly pigmented. I'm gonna squirt the water in. Love the paint see colors. Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh my gosh. Dina just said she added a Highland Counter kit to her website today. <gasps> I know. What? <laughs> you did what? That. <laughs> I want one of those. Yep. Jill is a cow fanatic. I like cows. Just in case nobody knew that, I like cows. <laughs> I like cows. I like cows. She does like cows. cows. Everywhere. And show everybody the vacuum I got you in case they haven't seen it. I opened the show with it and you didn't see it. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on. It's so funny. Oh. I bought myself one too, but I left it in the kitchen. <laughs> well, yeah. Do I have any? Do I have any scraps? Of, yeah, here we go. Let me get this stuff out of the way. It's so funny. Awesome. I left mine in the kitchen. My son came over last night and she, he's like, it it should move when it's on. It shouldn't have a vacuum sound. It should be mooing. It should be mooing, that but would be the best. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? It'd be hilarious. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. Hi, Bubba. Big Ben's here. Big Ben? Where's my Big pup? Big Ben has where's entered the building. Oh, I was telling Jill, Sadie was like all out of sorts today. <laughs> Literally sitting outside and it is like blizzarding out. The winds were like 40 miles an hour and it was like snowing so hard. And I'm like, do you want to come in? And she's like, absolutely. No, not. I'm good. And I'm like, then I made her come in. I'm like, this, you look miserable. I'm like, you are coming in. And then she's like, well, I don't know what to do now. And so she's like laying on my feet and. Oh, dog. Like I was in here and she's laying on my feet. And that would be totally fine if she could just lay down, but she can't. She's like, she's so anxious. And Mike wasn't home. He was at, he had to go to the airport because they had, they had a lot of snow. Lots of snow going on over there. So, and they're short guys. And so he's like, I'm just going to go help them with the snow. Bye. <laughs> Okay, bye. I'm going to sit in my studio and make fun stuff. See you mm, later. Yep. <laughs> hmm. I am thinking. It's too later. Thinking. I'm looking at Thinking. Oh, I should put these caps on. Just in case that I am thinking so crazily that I knock over a bottle that goes with that it does peggy i know she's so funny hi debbie i think she she really she loves her hoover i think so too you just saw the highland cow kit oh oh my gosh how cute dina oh go you guys designs by dina.org that's where this kit is that jill and i are doing um, she and her husband, Kenny, are, you know, really small business. Um, it's just the two of them. And Kenny does all the cutting and he does all the shipping. And um, Dina kind of designs it all. And then if you don't follow them, they're the cutest things you've ever seen before in your entire life. I met them in um, Oklahoma City. And they're just the sweetest people. And I saw this kit and I'm like, I we have to do this kit. <laughs> so cute. So you'll get it before Easter. Um, this would make a really cute hostess gift too. I always like to bring hostess gifts wherever I go, um, especially if like if I'm not cooking, you know. <laughs> right. Best. So I usually bring a hostess gift, and um, 
this would make a, just the cutest gift. Or was, it could be a gift to yourself, too. Yeah. <laughs> right? it was, uh, at the Wisconsin State Fair, which is the, is the largest fair in Wisconsin, obviously, it's the state fair. Everybody show, brings animals from every county. And I've never seen a Highland cow, but that doesn't mean somebody isn't raising them. They have one at the zoo. A Highland cow at the zoo? Yeah, when's the last time you've been at the zoo? Uh, years. Now I'm going to have to go. The zoo is the best. I love the zoo. I ride the train I'm every time. Now. <laughs> Alex I and Calista and I went some last summer. Oh. And then Sarah's like, I want to go to the zoo. I'm like, oh, too bad. Nah. Too bad, <laughs> so sad. You didn't get to go. <laughs> Mommy was mad at you at the time. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, she was working, I think. Plus, Alex and Calista and I just like to go on field trips like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to spend so long doing the blending on this because it's like so relaxing that we're going to like, oh, the live's over and I'm still blending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bugs, where are they going? I just heard a door open upstairs. I'm like, what is burning? Oh, it's my glue gun. <laughs> glue tool. I did not say that. It's my glue tool. No the apparatus that. on the table. No one heard that, right? The apparatus. Oh, great. Here's Cougar. I can't wait for this. <laughs> Jill has like a zoo in her house. It is a perpetual zoo. Hi, Coogie. Yes, I love you. You are very good to us. Kitty. Hi, kitty. I'm like, is something on fire in here? Oh, it's my glue gun. And Lindy always has a, a candle on her live, and I'm like, if I had a candle in here, I'd burn my whole house down. <laughs> I know. I watch it and I watch it behind <laughs> her, and I'm always like trance. I'm like staring. I know. Yeah, in a trance. Yeah. I'm staring at the candle, like, oh, so relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I am adding my saltwater taffy to my dreamsicle for the inner ears. I did not hear you. That's because I'm not talking to you, lady. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Telling everybody else what colors I'm using. Yeah, Dina, we had so much fun there. Debbie says, Dina and Kenny are the cutest and sing beautiful songs. Uh, Lindy says, I love blending. Debbie's cooking dinner. What are you making? Even though we got 10 inches of snow or whatever we got, um, <laughs> Mike still used the Blackstone for dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. I'm going to use force field on this because... And they melt down is not in front of me. And the force field is awesome though too. Um it is Paint Pixie's premium sealer. And <laughs> don't judge the paint pixie caps because of me, because <laughs> um <laughs> this is what I do to them. Your caps will be just fine. I'm just terrible with mine. I use all dirty mine and messy and... mini cup. <laughs> you do what? I use all of mine as mini palettes. Oh yeah, yeah, you pull yours off. Um, but anyways, it is rated for outdoors too. So, and if you're putting, if you're, you know, this is really for furniture painters, but if you use the meltdown, if you've painted your furniture white and then you use the meltdown, there is a chance that the meltdown will yellow over that white. And if, if you've ever painted a white piece of furniture before, you know, how much work it takes to get it white and then if you use the meltdown over it it could yellow over time um so the force field will not do that so if you're a furniture person that's a good thing to know i love it because it's really strong i actually put it on my kitchen cabinet and then it's rated for outdoors so 
If you haven't tried Paint Pixie yet and you want to try Paint Pixie, lemon chicken from Costco and diced baked potatoes with olive oil. Oh, cool. That sounds delicious. Yeah, Deb, we got to a bunch of snow too. How much did you get? Um, my Paint Pixie link is in the pinned comment. We got three feet. <laughs> Jill said I was exaggerating, but I wasn't. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. You like incense for relaxation? <laughs> I got little no, little I mean, we sure would appreciate it if you sprinkled. Little bunny poop. We have 27 people here, Jill. That looks really Ooh. cute. Little bunny poop. -boo. Yeah, I think I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So now I think I'm going to pull out that white sand. Um. Woo, don't do that. <laughs> don't do what I do. I probably shouldn't say this in the Facebook world but i've been getting very frustrated with them lately in fact i told my my girls my my lisa lindy jill and uh well i told myself i'm like i'm ready to jump ship i'm so tired of it um you know they boot you out of the algorithm for no reason whatsoever and then i couldn't even comment as my business page on people's lives like three days in a row today i was able to comment while lindy was live but like, I just like, I feel like they're driving people off of their platform. And then like, you know, the video freezes. And then everybody's like, you're frozen. No, it's actually just you. And you have to go out and come back in. And that's like such a pain. You know, I feel bad for people. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm trying to watch people too, and it does that, it's just like, they, you know, they tell us to do all this stuff. They tell us to do video. They tell us to do live video. They want us to engage on other creators' pages, and then they don't let you. Yeah, my tablet's frozen. <laughs> it's, it's just like... Are you freaking kidding me? I've had it. I've literally had it. That's why I'm asking if, like, you know, I mean, we're super grateful that you 26 are here. Don't get me wrong. Like, that, I think yeah. that's great, and we're, we're so happy that you're here. But it's just so confusing and frustrating and um you know we're doing dina's kits tonight i want to do a good job i'd love for her to get some sales from these um because they are amazing people and this kit is so cute so cute so cute like it just seems like Here's what it seems like. It seems like I'm spinning my wheels, and I feel that way on YouTube as well. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I did not do a YouTube video this Friday because I am like, why am I doing this? It's so frustrating. All right, so now that is just a little too... It's frustrating, friends. You know, I should have... What do you all think? I have like a clog in there. It all gets so frustrating. Yeah, you were glad to see my comments today. I <laughs> so mm -hmm. very glitchy on your end today. Very frustrating. I saw Linda that you you joined Instagram. And like I was saying, like, well, I mean, I can go live on Instagram. I don't have to be live on Facebook. Like, you know, they want you to do something and you do it and then it's like they penalize you for it. Yeah, they don't give the, they don't follow up with the support. Yeah, so I don't know. I just get super frustrated. And same as YouTube, you know, I've been killing it, killing myself trying to get more followers on YouTube. And, you know, I do, I do really good content over there. I'm just saying, I really... I do good content over on YouTube. I teach you good stuff. And, um, you know, they, it's like the same thing. They don't even, they don't let you be seen. And um, I'm tired of being like, you know, at everybody else's um, disposal. I'm still going to create content. I'm still going to teach y'all. It's just getting a little tiny bit frustrating, if you know what I mean. Where to do it, where to do it, where to do it. Yeah, I mean, I'll still be online. You know, I've got my club, and that's actually what I'm really focusing on is um, the growth of my club because, you know, I don't have to have that in a Facebook group either. I can have it on Kajabi. So I've got Kajabi. It's, a extra, it's an extra website where I run all my courses, and I can 
I can do live video and you can join live on there as well. We can have a full community um, group just like the Facebook page in there. So I don't, you know, I don't have to do anything over here. So um, I'm just really looking at my options, you know, probably still, obviously I'm not going to go away from Facebook, but um, it's just a, it's a conundrum all the time. And I tell you what, I, I've been going live since 2016. Um, you know, I'm, you get a little bit tired of playing the game. But if it wasn't for Facebook, I wouldn't have met anybody here. So, I mean, Jill walked into my store and said, I follow you on Facebook. And then and then she got a booth and, you know, then we started going live together. <laughs> so it's been amazing. I'm super grateful for it. I'm just tired of playing the game. Bunny boo -boo. Right, yeah, I love, I love my chicky. I haven't even started on my bunny yet, and it's 7 11 already. Okay, that's really cute. I'm gonna it just like that. You know, and I'm still, we still, I'm still going to be doing Pink Pixie Lives and all that kind of stuff. So don't think like, oh my God, you know, but it's just really frustrating. You're watching on two channels if that helps. <laughs> Deanna says, I totally understand what you're saying. And Deanna has a page too called Deanna Creates. And um, it, it, it is. I understand it's frustrating. We all don't have lots of different platforms. Life shouldn't be so hard. I know. <laughs> Yeah, our, our journaling club can get together on other platforms. I'd like to know why they want crafters to go live if they make it so difficult. That's totally what I'm saying. That's it right there in a nutshell. You nailed it. Um, I, that stuff out. I hear you, Sadie. The dog's home from a walk and she would like me to know. She actually would just, she just wants a treat. <laughs> That's all. Treat. I'm home. Can I get my treat? Yeah. <laughs> treat home. At least she's eating now, though. That's good. She has a, she has a very um, tender tummy. <laughs> she has a tender. This morning at 7 o'clock, you know, I'm totally still in bed. Like, not ready. Like, you know, not not getting up. And she's like, I'm getting up now. And I'm like, what, what, are you, what's that? what are you doing? And she went outside and she needed to go out. <laughs> she had some issues. So you got to go. You got to go. I'm glad she didn't go in the bed. When she was a puppy once, she, she diarrheaed in the bed. <laughs> and I was like, it was the middle of the night. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Totally scared. Uh -huh. like, and like, oh, my gosh. We had to strip the bed off. You know? Oh, my gosh. It was just horrible. Ah, 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 ah. That's what I get for having the dog in the bed. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, my gosh. That kitty. That is a big kitty. Yes. And if I don't acknowledge him and pick him up, he is clawing at my calves. He's clawing at my thighs. Mom, 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 I'm right here. Mom, mom. He goes behind the chair and claws up on my buttocks. <laughs> hi, hi. Acknowledge the fact that I am acknowledging you, please. He's going to come back around. Spookies. <laughs> don't. I have to pull, I'm going to pull my legs up on this chair. I lock Max out of here. She doesn't do that to me, but um, I just could see her jumping right up here in the paint while I'm live. Yeah. Love the kitty. He's so big and handsome, says Lindy. Hi, Becky. Yes, Lindy, he is. We'd love to go live, but you hesitate because of the issues. The little feet are cute, aren't they? I know. So you got to get this. It's not even expensive. It's such a cute little kit. You get, well, I can't remember the price. I don't know if Dina's still here, um, but 
It's designsbydina.org, and you get both of these, the bunny and the chick yes. and the eggs, the feet, the, the eyes, the beaks, and nose, and then they have a little stand on them, too. Super duper duper cute. Yeah, they're really cute. And they are fast shippers. So you'll have them. If you order them today, I'm sure they'll ship Monday and you'll have them in a day or two. Because they're kind of middle of the country. So, you know, considering you get two of them, if you have kids and grandchildren and, you know, nieces and nephews coming over, get a couple kits and you have, you know, two for each child. You have one for each child. Yeah, right. Unless they fight over who wants the bunny and who wants the chicky. No fighting Which during Easter. Happen. There's yeah. no fighting on Easter. No fighting on Easter. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> no, that is a great idea. I just say that because I had kids. I had kids. Like, like I don't have them anymore. I had kids once. She got rid of them. <laughs> Put them in a basket and sent them down the River Nile. They've <laughs> oh, flown the coop. Oh, it's getting warm in here. My thermostat like reset and it was freezing in here today, you know, with all that snow. And then I look and it said it was 62. And I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> way too cold <laughs> i usually have it at like 70 71 you know i was wondering why i was freezing 71 are you kidding me <laughs> why that's warm oh my god but i'm always cold i could put it up to 74 and i would be fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't like to be cold but i spend so much time down here in the studio that i have you know three shirts on and when we right before we came live i had a down comforter or a down, I, a down comforter a down vest on yeah, she had a vest. down vest on i'm like you're not beating in that are you no yeah it's like white and very nice yeah we're we're in the state of perpetual winter right now we didn't even have winter during winter and now that it's spring it's winter yeah it's what burns my buttocks <laughs> You do this, you do it in November, December. Not November. Not. I'm still riding my bike in November. Well, I, I think technically the Jeep was, the, there was still topless in November. I was just going to say, you didn't even have the top on your Jeep in November. I know. But November <laughs> should technically, you know, could be the start of snow. It can. I, I would be okay. It usually snows that. around Thanksgiving, but then it goes away. Yeah. So I'm using candy papaya, violet lemonade, and saltwater taffy. I'm not sure which foot I like better, darker one or lighter one. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you guys think? But like, what color are bunnies' noses? Is, is, are they pink? I, my bunny's nose might be pink. Darker, slightly darker. I'm gonna speed up this process, and I'm gonna there. do the sand right now. Heat. I'm gonna run out of time. Julie said those are so cute. Your heat's on 68. That's okay, Debbie. Thanks for coming. Uh, thank you so much, Deanna. You're thinking of making May baskets? They're 28. Okay, see, $28 for these, you guys. You get two shapes, too. Oh, that's amazing. She's like, I had to look it up. I totally understand. <laughs> oh, I just squirted more and I had some over here. That was really dumb. Um Dina, which way is this nose supposed to go? That's where the, the chick points. Let's see. It's beak, it's but like, I don't. Oh, is it like this? Yeah. Or like yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Just couldn't figure out the direction on that for a moment. Yeah, I think you could have it. Well, you, like you said in the beginning, it could be a Van Gogh. It could be a Van I, Gogh beak. I think that you could absolutely Van Gogh these guys, and it would be very cute. <laughs> You could make them look like angry birds too, the chick. <laughs> like if your kids are into that or whatever, you know. Yeah. If there's into an angry bird.
I remember when that game first came out, I had it on my Kindle, and I'm like, I couldn't, <laughs> I'm bad at video games anyways, but like, <laughs> I couldn't really do it. I'm like, what, do you fling them into what? What am I doing? Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> totally ridiculous. I'm gonna dry that quick. Oh, I forgot. Like, oh, I got through past level one. Yeah. Then they come to find out it was only the first page on level one. <laughs> <laughs> or the first section, whatever. I forgot to put my force field out in between these coats. Not that it makes a difference, but I'm thinking my feet might be backwards. Your feet are backwards. You're like there. way ahead of me. Yeah, oh what's going God. on? You're super ahead of me. And then eyes like that. And a nose. But I want the yellow. No. Beaks are orange, right? Well, in a like a real world, they are. In my, in my world, yes, they are orange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it has to be that way. Okay, I am like, okay, I have way too many clothes on. I'm dying of heat here. What did you say? I'm sorry. I have too many clothes on. I'm dying of heat now. I know. Oh my God. Really. Ooh, yeah, really. Holy bucket. I'm gonna stick like my layer, 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 layer. All right. Where Maybe was you have to step up? I remember when you used to come to my store and we would go live. She'd be like, I'll be right back. And she'd be like, pulling off her sweatshirt, pulling off two shirts underneath. But I'm like, gee, you got a lot of clothes on. <laughs> Always have layers. Mama didn't raise no dummy. <laughs> You know how every um, parent, dad, dad joke, grandparent, like, you know, oh, I walked 20 miles to school both ways up a hill. And uh -huh. I actually did walk to school because we had to walk from our house to the middle school, then catch a bus to the high school. It was 20 below and I had to walk all the way to the middle school only to find out school was canceled. Oh, why did your mom tell you? Karen, why did you tell her? My mom was working. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jill. Working. <laughs> You're going to have to find somebody to tell that story to. Oh my God. You have to tell it to your pets. <laughs> Look at my chick. <laughs> <laughs> so stinking cute. It is cute. You put his, I like how he's like, his head is like turned. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Like, I like that. Rain, sleet, and high winds. Oh my gosh. You had beautiful weather. Hi, Susan. Yeah. Um, Peggy says she wears a lot of layers. I mean, we live in Wisconsin. We have to layer, right? But let's be honest. I didn't leave the house today. So I was under my heated throw. <laughs> I watched The Help, though. I love that movie. Do you guys ever see The Help? It's so good. I read the book like a long time ago, too. Anybody who watched it has anybody? Oh, thank you, Phil. Oh, Peggy, thank you, Phyllis. Good to thank you. Um, have, has anybody written down the recipe on how to make that chicken in the bag? Because apparently, if you actually write it down and follow those instructions, it does make the best chicken. From the help? Yes. Hmm. She tells her how to make chicken in one part. And friends of mine said they they. So it was, like a, it was a pa big paper bag, and she shook it up. So she was obviously coating it with something. She tells them what ingredients, or maybe it's in the book. I'm not sure, but maybe it is. I don't think she had. I don't know. Maybe I was not paying super close attention at that time today. But that was the second or third time I've seen it. But it's been a while, so. So yeah, the second time I watched it, I don't remember a recipe. So I'm thinking, I wonder if it was in a book. Well, I read the book way before, obviously, before the movie came out. I like, what, 
They might go over a couple minutes. Turn these guys around for a second. I've been having too much fun blending this paint. That's what I love about the paint pixie paint so much. Blendability. But I left my cap off and I have a lot of chunks in mine, so I am totally Slow me down. See, what did you say? I am totally turning their little faces towards one another. <laughs> they can gaze at each other it's so adoringly and lovingly. <laughs> so stinking cute. All right, I gotta, be, I, I gotta be done. Look at this. I'm putting this away. Not I'm even close to being away. warm. I need to. My paint water is getting pretty old over there. I can always add some up later, too. One more coat of force field. Hello from snow covered Wisconsin. I know. <laughs> so you stenciled? Oh, I would love stenciling. Lindy, you made chicken that way. Then we've got to. I want the rest. I want the recipe. Oh, she said she made her chicken that way. Yes, it's amazing. I want that chicken bag recipe. Mm, chicken in a bag. Oh, I put too much force field out. Um, if you're just hopping on, Jill and I are making a kit from Designs by Dina. It's designsbydina.org. Um, they are $28. You get the bunny and the chick, and then you get both little egg halves, the crackled egg halves. I might put the rest of the force field on this, actually. Um, so I covered mine with some paper that I made, and Jill covered hers with, was it scrapbook paper, Jill? Yes. Jill covered hers with scrapbook paper, and um, they're just really, really cute. $28, and you get both. And they ship them so fast. You'll have it before Easter. Let me dry that. So go to designsbydina.org. Or to use some bunnies and chickies because they are so cute. And then if you don't already follow Dina, you should go follow her too. Um, this is so cute. I feel like the bunny needs to be a little whiter, so I don't know if I'm going to glue this on yet because this one's a little bit lighter. Who took the scissors? I'm running out of time. What, what about your, someone stole your scissors? Yes. Was it you? The elf. The elf. What, did you steal your scissors? The elf came in and took them. Um, I don't know if I want to do the Posca. I think the Posca might be the wrong color. That looks really nice. Yes, 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 yes. Ah! <laughs> that came rushing out. Yes. Oh, don't I have a piece of this? No, I used it. Wow, that was a leaky Posca. Oh, mine is starting to drip. Oh. <laughs> What's happening over there? My glue gun is starting to drip. I think I'm going to mix some colors here. <laughs> yeah, that looks nice. Let's see. What color eyes should I do? I should do I do brown or black? What color eyes did you do, Jill? White? I did white. I was thinking about putting a little black dot in or a big black dot, but I'm not sure of that yet. What do y'all think? What color eyes should I do? <laughs> really cute. A big black dot would be like, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> what are the best brushes for stenciling and painting on wood? So, um, Paint Pixie has, I don't know if, and Josie's not here, I don't know if Stipley's in stock anymore. So, yeah, um, I think it is. Uh, I don't know if it is. Josie's not here. They also have this. It's the 1C and it's a flat top. So I like flat top brushes for stenciling. 
She used to make these for um, a distributor. She doesn't anymore, but these are the ones that I use the most, but they're really similar to this. It's kind of the same brush style. This is just longer. So if I am stenciling with this one, I just hold it up a little bit longer and oftentimes I'll grab the bottom of this, but the bristles are long um, and I, you have to offload and then I like to swirl. You can pounce. Um, pouncing will give it a, a texture though. So um, anyways, white with black dot, black eyes, brown eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That did not help me narrow down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Wait, do I have a white pasta? It's going to be quicker. That'll be quicker. Wait, this one's not. Here we go. This is really runny. Quick, give me this. Mm, one of these brushes. There we go. One I have a giant mess. Good thing this is like, you know, I can turn it over and it'll be new again. Baby blue, and thanks for brush info. Website shows the stiffly. Awesome. Thanks for uh, looking at that, Cindy. The best. So Stipley is, I can't, I can't reach it. Um, it's actually way up there. But Stipley <laughs> is just about this big. It actually looks like, you know, it looks like a men's shaving cream applicator. Oh, Jill's got it right there. Yep. This is the, the little C, and so you can see it's shorter. Little C and, is for wax, but you can use that right. for stenciling. But I, it's, I, it's, I, mu it's much more tight, like packed and they're shorter bristles like like packed in tight whereas this one is this one is more like stiffly has longer yeah. not light enough all right i was just uh experimenting i don't know i think this pasta is like broken i don't hear the little ball inside of it shaking what size nip do I use more with pasta pens? Uh, it depends on how big you want your line. Yeah, mine are all the, the this the this one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. There we go. Doesn't it have a number on it? Isn't isn't there like a point three or a point? Um, it's it's one point eight to two point five. Good call. Good call. When I buy art supplies, I generally buy like the whole pack of stuff. So, <laughs> so I need every color. Oh my goodness, this pasta is really acting up. Look at that paper towel though. <laughs> okay, that was a really bad plan. It's like a 7.33. It's 7.33. We're not done yet. Close. I'm not. I messed around with blending for too long. <laughs> I'm going to have to deepen both of the eyes. I just thought the pasta would be real quick and they're like, no. Especially this white one is just being a little bit of a stinker. Very, very juicy. Going in. I don't know what I think I'll just have it regular. Okay, hold on it. Cut this piece of paper off. I don't know if I like that. I wanted to give them like little feathery looks, but I was pulling that out. I didn't like it. Gotta have a, I might work on him a little bit. I'll probably work on both of them a little bit more, but. 
I feel like the eyes are just too, too, too white. So cute. Love the bunny. That, this is the chicky. Bunny's underneath. Bunny, I think, needs to lighten up a little bit. Lighten up, bunny. Lighten up. <laughs> he's just he's just too serious. Lighten up, Francis. Lighten up. You just gave him a funny little, a funny little eyeball look. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, it's so oh, cute. These are so cute. Twenty eight dollars, and you get both of these. You guys, designs by Dina dot org. I'm gonna glue these on at least. All right, now I get the pen. That one doesn't go there. This one. Goes right, over okay. here. This goes on here. No, it's working. Um, Dina, I don't know if you're still here, but you were saying how bad you got burned on your um Ryobi glue gun. Well, Jill here got burned so bad, and then she actually emailed Ryobi and tell them tell her what happened, Jill. Uh I got a um uh, an engineer from their quality control department contacted me because I said, why don't you have a thermostat on this thing? And um, she burned herself really bad. I did. I burned myself live and then I pulled the glue and ripped all the skin off. Um, yeah. It's probably not the best move. Uh, he wanted all of the, he wanted all of my, oh, I also complained that my, um, my drill, drill bit or my the not the drill bit but the actual screwdriver bits were crap and i've already replaced them at home depot like four times and they won't let me bring them back anymore <laughs> and uh so he's like oh, okay i'm gonna i'm gonna send you replacement and i would like you to send me all of your stuff back so that we can have it all tested and all of a sudden one day i come home and there's these two large boxes on the counter and then I was like, oh my God, this stuff is great. Thank you. And he's like, you only received two boxes? He goes, there's more coming. And I'm like, oh my God. They sent her so much stuff. It was unbelievable. It was like crazy. He replaced all of the stuff that I sent them, which they co they collected, you know, free of shipping, uh, COD or whatever you call it. Um, they sent UPS yeah. to pick it up. Right. Um, but then they sent me it, one or two or three of everything that I had an issue with. So I have like three glue guns now. I have oodles of containers of bits and <clears throat> drew, uh, screwdriver heads and just all sorts of. Oh, I think you always sent me like um something that you like plug into your battery. I don't know. It's a battery to turn it into a DC plug-in thing and. Just all sorts of goodies. It was crazy so. how much she got. She's like, oh, she messaged me. She's like, oh my gosh, you will not believe all this stuff that I got. And I think they honestly clearly had an issue with their heat guns um, because this one is not nearly as bad as the first one that I had. <laughs> I don't even think I've tried the third one yet. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So, like, if you ever have a problem with anything, just have Jill contact them for you. And, um, <laughs> hey, Carolyn. Oh, I do not remember who, but uh, somebody who follows me actually did contact me and said, hey, my husband had a problem with um, the, I have it in the garage, what's it called? Um, the router. The router. And I'm like, oh, well, contact this customer service department. And I emailed the guy who... I had been in contact with and I was like, hey, just a heads up. This family is going to be contacting you regarding her router, which almost took her husband's thumb off. Oh, my God. They sent her replacement stuff. So, see, you're like the concierge. You're like the the go-to. What, what do you call you? Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. 
no, I don't watch Star Star Wars. I was gonna say Star Trek. You almost called it Star Trek. Yeah, I no, mean, you could like, you might get into a fight seeing. I'm stuff Yoda. Like <laughs> I don't even know what Yoda does. Yoda doesn't. Um, Yoda's not a, in in between. Yoda's a master. A master. See, I am. Oh. I am the master. <laughs> You're the master at getting getting her done. Getting her. Getting her done. Getting her. Cute. <laughs> Dina, these are so cute. Oh, uh, my adorable. <laughs> Designs by Dina.org. Y'all go get some fun bunny and chicky things for Easter and then get yourself some other things to play on because um, you will find so many fun things. And she said she just created a Highland cow kit. Need that cow. Jill is like... I need that. that cow. <laughs> I need the Highland cow. She's all over that. Yes, I am. I already bought you a cow, so I can't. You did buy that. me a cow, and I'm going to use it shortly to clean up this mess of a desk. <laughs> I'm getting all filthy here. But oh my gosh. Look. Look mm. at the baby chicken. They're so stinky. I love it. Nina says she just does black eyes for hers, so maybe I should do that on the bunny. Here's my water. You're making a wish list. So many cute kids. It's a lot cheaper than a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Everybody said that. And then what? When when Josie first said that, I when Josie first said that, I was like, um. Josie, I got a I got a splinter from one of my brushes. Yeah. <laughs> Dina says next time she has a problem, she would like you to take care of it. Yep. Um, Dina says her. Do you mean your glue gun? My her glue gun gets so hot, she calls it hot daddy. <laughs> hot daddy. Uh, yeah, that that okay. is not acceptable. What what color nose? I think I might just leave Bunny as is. What color nose should Bunny have? I actually um, stippled mine just a tiny bit with the um, with the pink after I painted it white. So do more than make a wish list. Go and help. Go and help Dina's shop out, y'all. These are so cute, and they're the nicest people. And um, I just want to help them out today. They're great. And then go follow them because you'll have so much fun. They are just so much fun to watch. They go on really late, though. 9 p.m. <laughs> That's not really late. but So generally when I'm watching them, Mike is, like, already on his way to bed. But he does get up at, like, 4.30 or 5 in the morning. So he has a good excuse. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll do a pink, darker pink nose. Um but I'm usually definitely in my jammies. These are so fun. And both of ours, ours, as usual, though, I mean, ours look completely different, you know, but we've used some of the same ideas, paper and paints and paint pixie stuff. Just sticking it in them. I'm almost done. We're almost done. Oh, that's so cute. I think I'm just going to do the same eyes. They're going to have similar eyes. You're in your jammies before seven. Deanna says definitely will be purchasing. Aren't they adorable? Well, there is a bunny here, too. I have a chicken and a bunny. Oh. Ah, I put the black top on the white Posca. Uh -huh. The white top on the black, and I didn't look. That's well, good thing they have two sides. <laughs> Last night I tried to put the white eight ounce cap on the two ounce uh, watermelon rind. <laughs> Why won't this go on? That's, that was a no. That's no. silly, Jill. That's so silly of you. We had fun I'm, last I'm night. I'm just having to take a little bit of the paper off of my bottom to get it fit in because I didn't 
squish my glue together tight enough, fast enough. Julie said my eggs look like real dyed eggs. I totally agree. I think they're really cute. That was just a paper that I made. Let me do that. So, yeah. are so fun. I'm going to have to do my stands later. But so she says what you do is you glue this solid one on top of the one with the tab in it. And then they stand right inside. So that I decoupaged mine and I'm trying to get the paper out of the little now area because it takes oh, the space I need. Too thick. Oh my goodness. These Poscas are being really naughty. Well, I might have to have one black eye and one white eye. <laughs> no. Can't do it. I will not do that to this adorable bunny. It's going to have two black eyes. I'm thinking um, I'm actually going to do one of these with little black centers and the other one's gonna have really big one <laughs> like he's surprised yeah like like what are you doing <laughs> these are so fun i'm not smart like dina dina tapes hers onto painter's tape and then you know dries them paints them and dries them like that and i'm like <laughs> blowing mine all over all over smithereens We are in smithereens, by the way. <laughs> Why was that ever a thing to say? It bloomed the smithereens. You don't know, apparently. Hey, Jill. I'm sorry, what's that? <laughs> I'm literally talking to you. Hey, Ann, are you there? screwdriver. Concentrating. <laughs> Don't do this, people. Are you there? Oh, you're cracking up. Maybe I won't get Don't. any back if I'm, you know, my brain turns into a pumpkin at six. I'm much better in the morning. You're both night owls, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is just so adorable. How do you not want to buy this? You have to want to buy this. It's so cute. <laughs> These are adorable. $28. I mean, that is. I'm telling you, for two shapes, I just think that's a really good price. Yeah. And they're so cute. Come out. And you can do whatever you want. You don't have to put paper on the egg. You can just paint it. Stencil, raised stenciling. Oh, that'd be so cute. This, I have this moss effect paste. That would be really cool on the eggs. Yes, the, uh, the, what, um, the glass bead. Glass, <laughs> glass bead. Out, Glass bead gel would be amazing. Glass bead gel. Lori just sent me this ice crystal paste. That might be kind of cool, too. I oh, I have some that. of that. You gave me some of that years ago. No, I've never had this. This is cool. I don't think I've ever had ice crystal paste. Stuff I have received from Jane. Pixie effect paste. And oh, that's pixie effect icing. Paste. Icing. Oh, that's totally different than this. Okay. Completely different, but still pretty cool. Yeah. My glue must not have been. Okay. Now I think I might be ready. I need to, I need to sneak in some glue, even though it got on there. That's why I hate using hot glue. Yeah. Oh, that was easy to get off. Let's do this again. I probably should have put some Irene's with this. What is the story here? Okay, now I'm ready. Okay. That didn't wreck my little bunny. I stuck my finger in the glue. You have the ice crystal paste and you love it. It's 5.45ish and I'm already in my jammies. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so the bunny needs some feet. You can't see me as my name is in the way? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You can't see Jill's as her name is in the way. Well, it's because I don't have it. I don't have the camera turned down. Oh, you can see it. 
Okay, so we can get to sit. Did I? I dare. I didn't let my glue. Where did that go? Not done with it yet, mother. Oopsies. Look at that. I should put like a tiny bead of the glue stick, but I should really be using the good stuff. It's the good stuff, Jill. Glue bot. What? My glue bot. My oh, glue bot. Yeah, good stuff. Awesome. Yep. Um, what do I have in here? Um. Mm -hmm. It's good. The good glue. Um. Type on. Type on. Thank you. But number two, so that it's indoor and outdoor use. Read the numbers and use the application correctly. But if you're going to put something outside, don't, you know, just. Why are you being probably going to do a little, couple more layers and brighten this a little bit more, but um, for now. My hand is not steady on this, so I've made a couple of boo-boos. Couple of boo-boos. That's going to be way too much. That's going to be way too much. What's going to be too much? Did you put too much glue I on? Way too much glue in there, but actually it's not. It's okay. It is okay. All right. So I just need bunny feet and then... I'll finish my stands off camera here. Yeah, Lindy. We should do a live together with ice crystal paste. Smithereens isn't a place. It means blasted into fragments or tiny bits. Added to the English language in 1829. I love that, Phyllis. Thank you. Got a little English language lesson. See, we're very informative here. Our lives are very informative. These are so cute. Let's see. What kind of feet does this bunny want? Black? <laughs> does bunny want black feet? What are you doing over there? What do you guys think the bunny's feet should be? You like black? Oh, you like the black eyes? What kind of feet should bunny have? I hear a yellow dog barking upstairs with her sassy, sassy bark. She's saying you're going over your time. It's almost eight. What? Really? <laughs> How did that happen? How did that happen? All right, so what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is go to designsbydina.org. Get yourself some of these kits. They're so cute. Did I do that one on yet? Outline these feet. If you decide to decoupage the base, make sure that you can fit it in. I still have to figure out why I'm going in. What color feet? You guys aren't answering. What color feet should this bunny have? Go with black feet, Stella said. All right. I'm doing it. Let's try no, this. Like Eagles it. over there. I cannot believe it's Eagles a feet. Here. Mike's probably like, what is she doing? <laughs> we're gonna watch we were gonna watch whale but i don't know if i want to watch it what whale it's brendan fraser he plays an english teacher who is like slowly get eating himself to death it's like i just don't know if i want to be like that sad he's slowly eating himself to death eating himself to death Mm -hmm. Like, um, like, um, binging, like binging. Well, he's like very, he's very obese. Okay. So I don't know much more about it, but it, I mean, I heard he's amazing in it. I just don't know if I want to be that sad. By the way, for those of you who were here last week and I said you were going to watch everything everywhere all at once. It was 
terrible. <laughs> One of the worst movies I've ever seen. So bad we turned it off. It I we after like an hour, neither of us could be, like and we're not dumb, but we <laughs> we couldn't figure out what was going on. We were like, what in the heck? It won all those Academy Awards. And it was like 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like it got, and we're like, this is going to be great. And it was so bad. I can't even tell you. It was so bad. Oh, thanks, Tina. His acting was great. I thought you said it was great, Linda. I remember you saying that. But I just don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm doing that tonight. Um, oh, I do like the black feet. They're really cute. So that's I think that's it for me. Um, I'm going to do this dance <laughs> later. And probably not even right now. But go to designsbydina.org. Grab yourself a bunny and a chicky kit. And then look around. See what else they have. Because they have some really cute and fun stuff. I love how it all comes in like individual pieces. So you can individualize all of the things. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Are you ready? Hold on, let me move this. Let me move this screen so that I can see better. Ready? Yes. Okay. 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 It's like it's like this guy's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god, it's so adorable. I just want to hop oh over. God. <laughs> These are so fun. <laughs> so fun. They're so fun. Uh, well, thanks for sticking in extra long with us tonight, you guys. Um, we had so much fun. Um, thanks for being here, Dina. And um, I think I am going to change these feet to this color because that's kind of perfect. I'm gonna do and I did, I did decoupage my bases, complementary to the paper in the in the nest. But I have to figure out how to. I have too much paper somewhere. Oh, to get it into the. Um, yeah, the to get it into the. Well, let's I'm figure gonna... it out, post them, because we'll want to see. Everybody's going to want to yeah, see. Yeah, I absolutely and... will. I just need to chisel off some of my paper. That's In okay. hindsight, I should have just painted. Well, and then some of those papers are just like, you know, they're thick. It just dripped on there, but that's okay, because you can't even tell. Oh, I'm so glad, Dina. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Patricia. Hey, we want to thank the 24 of you for being here tonight. We want to thank Facebook for its extra special love to our pages. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like the Academy Awards. We appreciate you. No, I really do appreciate everybody that's here. Um, I really do. And um, But I, I will say that you'll probably see me making some changes uh, because I'm tired of tired of playing the game. I just want to make stuff and I want to teach you how to use your art supplies. It's like my goal in life. So um, if FB isn't going to let me hang out with my friends, I might take it to a different platform. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to PM, PM Mark Zuckerberg and see if how, how his Zooms go. <laughs> how many people do you get on your live, Mark? How many do you get on your, how many lives do you, how many people are on your live? Do your lives cut in and out? Do yours freeze? Yeah, it's not like I haven't been going live since 2016, FB. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, I like them better now. Tell ya. <laughs> All right, I'll probably do a little bit more work on these, and then I also have to get mine into their stands. So look tomorrow. Be here tomorrow sometime um, for the final reveal of... Bunny and Chicky, but thanks for being here, everybody. And go to designsbydina.org to get yourself some fun little fun kits. Because they're so just, look at how cute. cute. Yeah, both. Cute. Yeah, I love them both. So stinking cute. Yeah, I like that guy because his head is like, <laughs> love these, you guys. 
I know. All right, everybody. We gotta go. We're here late. We'll see you later. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye, guys.